Hallelujah, Yahweh. Praise Yudei Wave. In the name of the Son of Yahweh, Yudei Wave, Bet Noon Sophie, Yudei Wave, Selah. Welcome to Black Gods of Yahweh Media. And before we begin, I want to say praise to this holy seventh day. The reason why I'm showing these videos, it has nothing to do with the fact that no one has never seen them. Most people in the knowledge of Yahweh is privy to all of this information. But I have to show those that may be just coming into the knowledge of Yahweh and those that need to be reminded that Yahweh bin Yahweh, the great light, is the son of Yudei Wave Yahweh. And that's what he taught. And it's about staying strict and staying direct to his teachings and not allowing people to come in who have other agendas, who want to be the son by saying that Yahweh bin Yahweh is the father and there is no other. Or people that just can't conceptualize that there is a father, Yude Wave Yahweh, as well as a son, Yude Wave Betnu Sofit, Yude Wave, who are both in the celestial lodge right now together, father and son. Let us begin. Luke chapter 2, verse 34. I'm going to read that for your pleasure. And Simeon blessed them and said unto Yahweh ben Yahweh's mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising against, again, Salakia, of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken against. And Simeon blessed them and said unto the mother of Yahweh ben Yahweh, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Did you hear what he said? Who do you think the son is? Let us keep going. And here you have a whole bunch of people going to church, 400,000 churches, and they don't know the name of the father. They say such silly things like, Father, God, help me. Both of them titles. Father is a title, God is a title. Who's going to answer to that? The purpose of the coming of the son is to reveal the name of the father. That's who he prayed to, our father, and he called his name. He said, hallowed be, holy be thy name. How can it be holy to you when you don't know it? Interesting, isn't it? There are a lot more interesting questions than that about that situation. But when you begin to read your Bible, as I call this to your attention, you will discover from the Old Testament of Genesis all the way through Revelations is all about the name of the Father. It's all about His name. But somebody got you calling some other kind of name other than the Father's name. And you don't know His name. 
And unless you learn his name, then you are never going to move from poverty to riches. And if you don't come into the knowledge of the name. Have you ever wondered why it is that you have the same God, have the same churches, the same names that white people have? I mean, if you notice, you do. Our people have the same, right? But isn't it strange how God always answers white people's prayers? And <laughs> black folk prayers don't seem to be the same magnitude. You know, you say, well, I'm getting my prayers answered. Well, why don't you ever get answered to be the ruler? I mean, you, you know, my people are always on their knees in front of white people asking white people to let them be accepted. Why do you need to ask white people for acceptance? Why don't you just ask God? Then your God have enough power to make you accepted? Why can't you be the people that everybody else wants to be among? Why are you always running after somebody else to be among them? What's wrong with your God? Why do you have to go around always on your knees with your hat in your hand begging for a job from white people? Why don't your God just give you some jobs? Oh, I have to ask you some serious questions because white people move from poverty to riches every day. Huh? They come from Russia. They come from Europe. They come from England. They come from all over the world with nothing on the ship. Come and get in your neighborhood. Come with a buggy and a basket and a wagon and push it around in your neighborhood and move from poverty to riches out of your pocket. You live in the neighborhood and stay poor and just pray all the time. You prayed enough to rule all the world. So who is Yahweh? Yahweh is the God of the Bible. He's the God of the Hebrews. In the beginning, Yahweh created the heavens and the earth. Yahweh is the man that beat up on Pharaoh. Do you remember how he put plagues in Egypt? That was Yahweh did that. Yahweh is the one that when Pharaoh got real sassy, he drowned him in the Red Sea. That's Yahweh who did it. Yahweh is the man that when Daniel refused to bow down to another nation and quit facing the east and praying, when he refused to stop praying to his God, which was Yahweh, they said, well, we're going to put you in the lion's den and starve them. Threw him in the lion's den. Yahweh locked the, law, the jaws of the lion. Lions could do him no harm. Ruler got scared. Came and got Daniel out and made him a ruler. Right? I just want you to know who Yahweh is. He made the sun, the moon, the star, all what you see and haven't seen. Okay. So who has Yahweh been Yahweh? I am his son. I am his son. That's who I am. I am the son. Okay, I know this is getting elementary. He is his son. Forever. Uh, Yahweh. I don't care who else is the son or who else is the hell. It makes me no difference. I'm not here tonight concerning myself with who is the son of who. I'm the son of Yahweh. I have to tell you who I am. Yahweh is my father. I am his son. What makes me his son? Makes me no difference. I'm not here tonight concerning myself with who is the son of who. I'm the son of Yahweh. I have to tell you who I am. Ruler got scared. Came and got Daniel out and made him a ruler. Right? I just want you to know who Yahweh is. He made the sun, the moon, the star, all what you see and haven't seen. Okay. So who is Yahweh been Yahweh? I am his son. I am his son. That's who I am. I am the son of Yahweh. I don't care who else is the son or who else is else. It makes me no difference. I'm not here tonight concerning myself with who is the son of who. I'm the son of Yahweh. I have to tell you who I am. Yahweh is my father. I am his son. What makes me his son? What makes me Yahweh's son is I do not have a will outside of his. I have no thoughts, no ideas, and no program outside of Yahweh. You will find that all that I ever do, all that I've ever done, and all that I'm ever going to do is found right in the Bible and is traced right to his will. All right, I'm going to stop the video right there. I'm also going to put in the link who the video belongs to because it's not mine. Um, the information is out there. If you're headed in that direction, meaning you're going down that path 
of pseudoism, if you're going down that path of false doctrine, go ahead and pull yourself back up. Grab yourself up by the boot, by your bootstraps, like they say. Pull yourself back up, sit down, clear your mind, and just go over mentally what you know about Yahweh bin Yahweh. He is the son of Yahweh. Nobody else can come in and dispute that. That's out of his mouth. So if you're not going to believe anything, then you have to believe what the son of Yahweh said. We can debate all day how he went to the kingdom, how he got from earth in the flesh to the spirit world and the celestial lodge. We can debate that all day long. But there is no debate of who he is. He taught who he is. So if he wanted you to think something else, he would have taught that. He wouldn't have taught, I am the son of Yahweh. And then 20 something years or 30 years later, someone else came in. Well, he left this person in charge. That make him the son. That makes him the Christ. That doesn't make any sense. That's pseudoism. That's misdirection. That's a false doctrine. Like I said before, there's other people that believe this on the down low. Go ahead and pull yourself back up. Rethink what is simple. This is simple information. It does not require a whole lot of mental processing. All you have to do is look at the son, find him in scripture like he told you to do, prove that he is the son, and listen to the words that's coming out of his mouth. That's all I got. I want to say peace and shalom. And once again, blessed to this holy seventh day, this day that Yahweh gave to his chosen people as a sign forever. I'm out.